Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve and graph an absolute value inequality. So what I have up here is the absolute value of 5k plus 1 is greater than 36. Now it's important when looking at absolute values to understand that we have pretty much two solutions that we're going to work with. And the way that I can represent that is if I looked at the absolute value of negative 3 and positive 3, we understand that both those equations, or both those absolute values, equal 3. So therefore, when dealing with an absolute value that equals a number, we know that there's possibility of two, two different solutions that could be within your absolute value, um, absolute value function as far as the positive value and the negative value. So it's important when trying to solve and graph an absolute value equation or an inequality that we represent the possibility of both solutions. And by representing the possibility of both solutions, we can then eliminate the absolute value equation sign. So to do that, all I simply do is make sure that I have my absolute value um, isolated, and then I'm going to represent my absolute value, or I'm going to represent both of the solutions. So the first one, I can just kind of eliminate uh, my absolute value and just represent the positive solution. So I can say 5k plus 1 is greater than 36. But then I also need to represent what if I had a negative value, the same value but a negative inside the absolute value. So therefore to do that I say well 5k plus 1 is now less than negative 36. And that's how I represent if inside my absolute value I had the same value as this but negative. And remember, since we're combining with negative and inequality, we've got to make sure we flip the sign. Now that I have my absolute values isolated, now what I can simply do is just solve for each variable. So I subtract 1 on both sides, and I get 5k is greater than 35, divide by 5, and I get k has to be greater than 7. Over here, I subtract, and I get 5k is less than a negative 37, divide by 5, and I get k is going to be less than, since 5 does not divide into negative 37, I'll just leave that as a fraction. All right, and we can say, you know, it's roughly going to be, you know, 7 and a, a decimal form. So now to graph this, I'm going to use a line graph here. Um, and let's just kind of go with here. So let's have this being 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we'll do negative 7, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and positive 7. So what we do is we look at, um, first of all, we want to plot our points, where exactly they're going to be. And I notice the inequality symbol, since it's greater than and less than, not greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, I'm going to have an open circle. So therefore, I'm going to first plot 7, and then I need to say, where is negative 37 divided by 5, right? Well, you can, you can kind of convert this you know, over to a mixed number, which would be negative 7 and 2 fifths. Uh, therefore, you're going to get a little bit larger than negative 7, or sorry, a little bit smaller than negative 7, but not exactly over to 8. So I'll just estimate it's going to be, you know, right around right there. Now, the next thing I need to do is say, all right, you know, when is my inequality going to be true or false? You know, what does it mean k is greater than 7? So you can think about it that way and just say, you know, all values that are greater than 7, which should tell us, you know, that's going to be values that are going to the right, as to the right is going to get more positive values. All right. Then we look at k is less than negative 37 divided by 5. So what values are smaller than negative 37 divided by 5? And that's going to be all the values to the left from here. Another way you could always do this is always pick a test point. And let's say we pick the easiest test point here, 0. So what you could do is you could plug in 0 and for each inequality. And if it's true, then that's where you shade towards your true test point. If it's false, you're going to shade away. So what I notice is 0 is greater than 7. For that point, it's false. So therefore, I shade on the other side of my point. For here, 0 is less than negative. And that's false as well for this equation. So that's why I shade away from my test point. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve and graph an absolute value inequality. Thanks.